Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna be doing a Sweeney Todd inspired looks. So first we're gonna do Sweeney Todd and I'm taking my lightest foundation ever and applying a very thick base coat first. to the mountains of Peru But there's no place like London No, there's no place like London Mr. Todd? You are young, life has been kind to you You will learn Now I'm taking um, this white-based face paint by Snazaru and just making the skin a little bit more pale Make sure to bring it down to the neck and the back of the neck and the ears a hole in the world like a great black pit and the vermin of the world inhabits it and its morals aren't worth what a pig could spit and it goes by the name of London Now I'm taking the airspun translucent the powder the and I am pressing this against the face to make sure that the paint and the foundation doesn't move Now I'm taking my modern renaissance palette and taking the rear gear again and using a fluffy blending brush and I am blending that from the top of the eye to the lower eye to make the eyes look very tired. I'm taking um, Red Orchid and I'm placing that in the same place. Now I'm taking a matte brown color and I'm blending that eyeshadow um, on the eyes and wherever it needs some very deep contouring. So just analyze the face that you were working with and see where their deep lines naturally fall and that's where you deepen. In these once familiar streets I feel shadows everywhere. There was a barber and his wife and she was beautiful A foolish barber and his wife she was Also taking that dark brown color and, and blending that beautiful. along the sideburns Just to make the illusion of growth of hair Now taking the black Snazaru face paint and taking a stippling brush And I am lightly tapping it on the skin And it mimics hair Another man who saw that she was beautiful, a pious vulture of the law. Who with a I'm taking a floor, eyeshadow stick and black from Kiko and putting that on the top of the lid and under the lid to make it look even more intense. Also, deepening the eyebrow hair as well, and just make sure to blend, blend, blend everything. Did she succumb? Oh, that was many years ago. Now I'm taking this very nude lip liner and I'm just bringing a little bit color back into his lips. I don't want the lips to be completely white. And since uh, we didn't have a wig at the moment, we actually fixed his hair and strained it back and then just put a little bit of white paint on top to mimic that white streak that Sunni Todd has. And then now for Miss Lovett, I'm gonna do the same thing I did for Sweeney Todd, just take that very light foundation and did a very thick coat um, and blending that all the way out. Also remember to set the foundation and face paint as well with the air spun or whatever loose powder you have on hand. Now I'm just taking a little bit of the brown color and putting that on the eyebrows because Miss Lovett has very thin eyebrows. Now I'm taking red gear and I'm also placing that the same placement under the eyes and over the eyes just to make it seem very very tired. And also taking red orchid and placing that in the same um, place. 
Now I'm taking again that same dark brown color and I'm using that as my contouring and wherever the face naturally deepens, I am gonna make it deeper just to make it seem like I'm very tired. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Many think it was a trick for the poor animals. What a dine in the street, Mrs. Mooney has a pie shop. Does a business for unnoticed. Now I'm just taking my Kiko eyeshadow stick in black and I'm just placing it on top of the lid and under the lid just to give it a more grungy look and also putting my skin because I don't think this love it wears false eyelashes. And just going back and blending that a little bit more. Now I'm just taking my curling wand and I'm just making some very loose curls. Uh, remember her hair is very messy and it's in two ponies tails so that's what I'm going to do once I curl my whole head. And that is it. That is both looks we were inspired to do. And I hope you guys have a very safe Halloween. Bye.